Hey guys, so I started taking out my hair as you can maybe see. I don't know, it kind of blends in. I started taking out my hair and then I was like, I want to record this. Um, so yeah. Sorry, I'm mad sweaty. I'm about to go take a shower and wash my hair after I finish this. But uh, yeah, I decided I'm gonna record this instead. And then I was like, you know what? Instead of just making it another take down my hair video where I watch Netflix and then fast forward through the whole thing with minor commentary, I'm gonna do the natural hair tag. I believe the person who created this tag was Kimberly Cheryl. Cheryl, I, I don't know. I'm sorry that I'm butchering your name, but um. Yeah, we're four braids in, and uh, we're going to do this. All right. All right. So, also, I had a pen cap because your girl um, wasn't trying to look for a comb, and I was really struggling with these braids. Like, when I say struggle, like, your girl was struggling. So, we're going to... I look mad stupid. I already look stupid. <laughs> we're not going to do that. So, we're going to... We're at this braid, right? Okay. So the first question is, is what is your hair type? Um, I am type 4. I want to say I'm type, I'm 4C, but I don't think that I, like, I really am. Because when I look at pictures online and then I see what my hair looks like after I wash, I'm just like, girl, you know 4C, but like, you, I'm not 4B or 4A either. Low key, I'm a, I might be a combination of all three. I dead ass don't know. Who is your who is your current hair inspiration? So <laughs> I'm that annoying. When I first went natural, my hair inspiration or when I was transitioning hold on, words are hard. When I first decided I wanted to become natural, my first hair inspiration was Leah Aliana. Then as I fully became natural, my hair inspiration and current hair inspirations were Hal Frickin Beauty. I'm pronouncing her name so wrong. I'm so sorry. And Jayla Majet. I also feel like I'm pronouncing her name wrong. I'm so sorry. Those two, I love them. They're great. I don't think I have the same hair type as Jayla, but I think I have the I have a similar hair type to Hal Frickin Beauty. So, hey girl. Hey sis. <laughs> Next question is low porosity or high porosity? I have low porosity hair. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? Foolishness. I have low porosity hair. Um, I just recently found it out, maybe like a month or two ago. Or three. Time is fake when I come home from school. Time is fake when I come home from school, so I, I, I don't know. I don't know remember when I found that out. Sometime this year I found that I was low porosity. Um, I'm also talking way too fast for these questions, so I'm gonna just like shut up real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna just finish this braid and I answered like four questions. Now I'm always I get happy with the braids that answer that question because I'm talking way too fast. I'm sorry, it's the New Yorker in me. Y'all see me glistening? That's a combination of natural lighting and sweat. <laughs>
get out the shower and let that sit for a little bit. So, and the condition I'm using now is um, Cream of Nature, the Argan Oil Line, Intense, Reparative, something, whatever, I don't know. But yeah, I think, I think that's slippery. I, I really don't have a preference. Um, the next question is, twist out or braid out? Um, despite the fact that I am taking out my braids right now, I prefer twist out all the way over any other style I've ever done, which hasn't been much. I literally only do twist outs. I bought perm rods and I've never used them because I low key cannot put them in. So, your girl likes a twist out. Um, the next question is wash and go or rod set? I have never done a wash and go. I thought about doing a wash and go this summer because I bought Eco, nope. I bought the Wetline Extreme Gel last, no, nope. in the winter. <laughs> Yo, I remember nothing. I bought Wetline Extreme Gel in the winter and I did that my first little sleep bun blow puff thing. And I told myself, oh my god, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do a wash and go when I come home. And then I was like, oh my god, I hate the fact that I cut my hair, so we're not doing this anymore. Yay. So that's that. I didn't answer the question. I um, so the question was, wash and go or rod set? I haven't done either. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what a rod set is. No. Neither? Oh, mm, hello. Next question is perm set, perm rod set or flexi rod set. I also have done neither. I only do twist outs, and minus this one braid out, I dead ass don't do anything else. I have perm rods, like I, I've purchased perm rods, but I, like I said, I low key could not figure out how to make them stay and like be tight enough. Cause like I put it in, and then it was like the little little piece is just like <laughs> yeet I'm fall down I'm just like all right I guess I just go jump in a trash can call it, call it a day so that was a duh I really want to try flexi rods but I don't know what size to get that won't make me look stupid so I'm gonna say flexi rods though I think I look better I would look better in a flexi rod set than a perm rod set perm rod set because some of the videos I be watching the people who use perm rods they kind of so like like old 70s or something like that and I don't really want to look like that like not saying it's not cute I just don't think it would fit me as a person so that is a dub um the next question is sour can I speak English <laughs> sour the next question is shower or sink um your girl washes her hair in the shower if someone else is washing my hair, aka if my mom is washing my hair, which she hasn't done since, um, I don't know, I was like 16 and I'm almost 21. Uh, so she would wash it in the sink and that would be some long back breaking things. Oh my goodness. Ugh, oh, I've been like flash. Oh, my back. Yeah, so I wash my hair in the shower. Um, if someone else washes my hair, it's in the sink. I kind of want to try and wash my hair in the sink, but like my sink ain't big enough for me to be doing all that, and I got mad hair, so that's a that's also a dub. Air dry or defuse? I let sis air dry. Ain't nobody no. I don't think diffusing will. Oh my god, this is mad cute. Minus this, minus that. This is mad cute. Oh my god. What? Hey sis. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I always have my hair air dry, and if I don't air dry it, I blow dry it. But when I blow, but when I blow dry it, I'm blowing it out because I'm gonna see my rope. I'm gonna see my shrinkage. I'm a shrinkage. I wanna see my full potential length. If you know what I'm saying, you know, you know. I also don't know how the diffuser would actually work for some of my hair like mine. Um, if anyone want to do that and hit me up and do it so I can see, feel free. Because I'm not, I'm not trying to spend my money and do that. So, thank you. 
The next question is fleeky edges or as they are? Your girl edges stay as they are. Like I low-key don't even have a lot of edges to be do edges, so they can stay as they are. I mean like if somebody else wanna come and try and do my edges, that'd be great because I like both styles and my edges will stay as they are until further notice. Okay? All right. Deep conditioners or oils? It depends on what you mean. Because, like, I use a deep conditioner every time I wash my hair. But I also use oils when I haven't styled. Like, this protective style, I use oil at least every other day for once a week. So, I'm just meaning, like, deep conditioner versus, like, a hot oil treatment. Deep conditioner. I want time to be getting out of the shower, mixing all oils together, putting it in a microwave bring it back up to my shower nope that's mad work no thank you no thank you oh my god i'm halfway through with the questions but i'm not even halfway through with my hair so i'm gonna pause this again and i'm gonna continue now i thought ashley o was only for Black Mirror. Why does she have two songs on Spotify? What's going on? I'm jacking it. Miley Cyrus is gonna be here in Montana again. It's 2008 all over. It's 2009 all over again. Cause if you say it's 2008, then it's 2018 and it's not. So it's 2009. I don't care. my opinion but i'm gonna say that anyway um i just listened to right where i belong and on a roll by ashley o and i like on a roll better only because i like more like upbeat music and on a roll i mean right where i belong we just kind of like ah, ah, ah. I, don't, I don't know how to describe it i like it's not a bad song it just wasn't type of music I would prefer to listen to. Anyway, I think I'm almost like uh I guess you could say I'm halfway down. I don't know. But after this grade we're gonna get back into the question. The next question is high bun or low bun? I hate low buns. I look very dumb. Um, I prefer to wear high buns. There was more in this ponytail than I than I remember. So we're gonna, I'm gonna finish this question, but we're gonna fast forward and have this. Um, high buns all the way. High puffs, poofs, buns, whatever you wanna call it. High, all of them. And it's time I wear. My puffs are on the top of my head, as far front as I can make it. Um, low buns, the front pieces of my hair don't fit in. So that's, I just look stupid. So, that's my answer for that. Maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. More questions. <laughs> I have ten more questions and twelve more breaks. So mathematically, that doesn't add up. But we're gonna start answering questions anymore anyway, because I feel like it's been a long time that I've had time lapses happening. 
the next question is bantu knots or finger coils finger coils because i dead ass can't do a bantu knot to save my life like if my life depended on it i probably would die <laughs> like, that sounded so harsh but like i but i seriously can't do a bantu knot like, like i do it i could do some do them in like certain like little sections if i'm just like playing around with my hair but like if i seriously want to do a bantu knot out it it's not happening like that's a whole dub <laughs> like nope and i finger coil every time i'm at the ends of my hair i'm just like to hold it so finger coil but that's mad hair to be finger coiling but i can't do a bantu knot um protective styles in the summer or winter well you see what had happened was i go to school in a different state so and i don't got i don't got time to be washing my hair and styling it and moisturizing it and this that and third every single day because i got homework to do i work two jobs at school and yeah that's that's just not happening so the way my hair has been from for the last three years so from 2016 to 2019 for the last three years soon to be four from august the end of august or like the middle of august to the middle of december my hair has been in protective styles and from the middle of december to like the end of january it's been out to let it breathe and whatnot and then from january to may you grows back in a protective style so technically throughout all the seasons your girl's hair is really like wrapped up but this summer i'm doing protective styles as in these braids that i'm taking down because i cut my hair january and your girl feel bald headed like capital book bald headed so that's that so thank you styles all year round whenever you feel like it if you want to put your hair in braids twists faux locks or whatever the what do what you please uh can't reach bonnet or scarves i don't want a bonnet i don't like wearing scarves either which isn't i i'm not gonna say it's, it's bad but like does not really a difference i definitely wear scarves when i've washed my hair though so that's the thing i kind of want to invest in a bonnet i really feel like i should but like so look for this hairstyle it got frizzy real easy and i put a scarf on it to like lay the hairs down so it wouldn't be as frizzy when i went out the next day but like i can't do that with a bonnet so that's not the braid i was just working on I prefer scarves, I guess. I don't really like either. Someone is like blowing me up on Instagram right now, and I don't know what's happening. I don't know if this is like old notifications or what, but that, that definitely just happened. Oh my god, I'm almost finished the questions, and I still got like I don't know eight more braids. I'm tired of doing time lapses, but I hope we're gonna have to go to another one. I'm sorry. I'm really trying to not do so. I promise. But I'm struggling. I look like Krusty the Crab. No. No. I'm a Krusty Clown from The Simpsons. I look, he look like Krusty. 
You know, I deadass look like Krusty. That's... <laughs> That's crazy. appropriate time to actually start talking so if I'm not mistaken the next question is why tooth comb or detangling brush I have both but I use a detangling brush when I'm doing like I'm putting in styles I don't really use it in the shower that I don't know that don't work that don't work for me I did buy a wide tooth comb for the shower and I'm gonna try it out for the first time after this video so that's that but the jangling brush because that's what i use on a daily braces i got my fake lemon brush in my bathroom that's what i use um finger detangling or brush i don't finger detangle you know this not, it makes me sound like i hate myself but when i'm in a shower i don't think i finger detangle um and i don't use a brush and when i'm like doing like random things i guess i finger detangle from like bored and i don't do my hair but other than that i'm gonna say neither so um t-shirt or microfiber towel microfiber towel i use a t-shirt all the time like like a regular t-shirt like this i'll put the head and just leave it like that my mom bought some microfiber towels for me to use, but the the headspace is so small. Like my hair don't fit in that. Like the I would need two of them to just use one. If we're being honest here, but yeah. Um, gel versus no gel. I don't use gel in my hair whatsoever. The first and only time I like truly use gel in my hair is when I posted that video. Um, my first first time using first time using what? hold on <laughs> the first time I used gel was in that video I posted a couple months ago I think it was titled like first time doing a slick back style and using gel like that was my first time like truly truly using gel um, I remember when I first started transitioning someone I knew gave me like um, they gave me Eagle Style Gel and something by Stay Moisture, and they told me just use a little bit of that. And when I do my like braid outs and twist outs and stuff, for like to be more defined, but I never really used it. If I'm being honest, I don't know how I used it all because like I did I didn't use it. Like sometimes I use it to try and practice doing edges, but like it didn't work. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know how I finished that. Yeah, but long story short, I don't use show. I'm also really trying to procrastinate because I have two more braids and like two, three more questions. Um, do I have length or health? I want both. But if I'm being honest, I feel like my hair is not healthy at all. Or I just haven't found the right products to ensure the max amount of health in my hair. But I do also really care about length because... because I feel like with shorter hair I look bad I don't I don't like the way I look with short hair at all um, and the long I don't know I just feel like I look better when my hair is longer so that's that but like I care about both but at the moment I'm more focused on length because I did cut my hair and I wanted to go back to the length it was before like January 5th because <laughs> I like, dead ass feel mad ball at it like obviously I have hair I have a lot of hair but like it's not where I run it like my my hair goal is like bra strap length I don't know if like at bra strap or like below my bra strap 
it doesn't really matter at this point but like it was big it was basically there and then like when i straightened my hair it didn't feel like healthier and my ends didn't feel healthy and i don't know if it was because like of the products i was using like the heat protectant or the the how i blow dried it and the straightener i used the straightener i used was mad old but like i think it was that but anyway yeah my ends didn't feel healthy so i said snip snip and it was all gone and then I cut it straight like an idiot so that <laughs> I care more about length at the moment I oh my gosh it's stuck um side part or middle part your girl was rocking a side part from like eighth grade no from like high school till I graduated or until I until I until I started like doing my own hair I was rocking the middle a side part but I think I started like doing my own hair when I started tra no not as soon as I started transitioning maybe like senior year of high school I started doing my own hair that's when I started doing a middle part because I realized it just makes everything so much easier you got two sides and doop doop and you're done like come on sis the last question is plastic cap or plastic bag now i'm assuming when they ask this question when she asked this question they mean like in terms of deep conditioning or like hot oil treatments and stuff like that um neither um when i deep condition i just get out of the shower i lay down for longer than i need to and call it a day i don't i've heard people say like having the heat from your head but deep conditioning it helps it a lot or whatever and i'm just like i don't i don't like the way it feel it sound it like make my my senses override i, I no it ain't for me but that ow that was the last question this is the last braid and hold on hold on hold on wait for it wait for it and i'm done so thank you for watching this video <laughs> so thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed please leave a comment and subscribe and whatever you really want to do show up your friends i don't know leave a smile in the comments you know yeah so that's all for today's video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye wait no i lied that's not bye i wanted to do a link check because this I'm like real life about this girl. Hold on. Okay. So. I guess my hair is here. Here. Okay. I'm right. I'm gonna always take the top of it. She wrap around again. She like right here. I don't know how it is in the back. Which one I took? I'm missing this one. I don't want to turn around because my school name is on the back of my shirt. Hold on. I don't know how I thought I was going to show y'all this. Ow. Your girl is struggling real bad. Okay, hold on. So my hair is like here. My hair is like here and then my bra strap. Okay, hold on. Let's try this again. My hair is like right here. Like right here. And my bra strap is out. My hair is here, right? And my bra strap is like right here. So that's pretty close. <laughs> we almost back. <laughs> okay. 
that's all for today's video and i'll see you guys next time bye